time moves pretty quick up here. Here's something frozen. Dear SOS, I am a second year college student at the University of Arizona, and I miss the fabulous taste of slippery shrimp served at Yang Chow restaurant in Pasadena. Whenever I get a chance to come home, I call my mom and ask if that could be our first meal. If you would try to locate the recipe so that we can make a modest effort in satisfying our shrimp fix, we would be ecstatic. Signed, K. 2005. Now, I don't fuck with Pasadena, but I do love the Chinatown one. Uh, uh, like we are so close to uh, okay. USC camp, we have a. Uh, uh, you have the Laker girls. It, they do have the Laker girls. I had 22 Laker girls all signed. And uh, recently I saw the Laker Center, Angel Bynum. How do you like the Chinese food here? Well, this food is very good. Very good. I'm very satisfied with all the meals that we had here. You have been, you know, other places that are not so good, so so. But yeah, I definitely recommend this. Food. So Yang Chow's the place, huh? Oh yeah, oh yeah, I definitely Excellent. recommend this. Food. What are you eating right now? I got the shrimp egg for young, and we ordered a little bit of a lot of different things and just kind of shared it amongst each other. I'm here in Chinatown, on Hill Street between College Street and Alpine Street. And I'm going to dine at a famous Chinese restaurant in the area, Yang Chow Restaurant, Mandarin and Sichuan Cuisine. It's known for its slippery shrimp. It's famous for a dish called slippery shrimp. So we got some slippery shrimp. Here I am, downtown Los Angeles, Chinatown. World's famous Yang Chow Restaurant. Been here for many years. I'm going to try the slippery shrimp. That's what I saw on the internet. Also the um, pong, compound chicken and the spicy wonton soup. So my first time ever here eating at this restaurant. Um, my spicy wonton soup. And when they say spicy, that is no joke. That's a 911 call right there. That's definitely going home with me. We got my slippery shrimp. And I got my compound chicken right here and my Thai iced tea. And the slippery shrimp is delicious. Okay, but believe me, a 911 call on that spicy wonton soup. What's this restaurant got people so happy for? Well, it's a couple things. You know, whether you like it or not, you can always tell when a place is a family business or not. You know, you don't really see the old heads anymore, but it's been run by the Yun family since 1977, adding locations in Chinatown, Pasadena, and Long Beach. You know, they've made themselves the place to be. Add all the word of mouth throughout all the years, and the fact that they have good, consistent food gets you a population that's dying to try that place their friend told them they had to try or found on that top five best Chinese food in LA list online. It's fucking good. I mean, when you walk in, they got pictures all over the place of celebrities and actors and comedians and politicians and sports players that have come throughout the years. It makes you feel like you're somewhere special, someone special. And if you come for dinner, it's not raining out, you get to wait in line and it's always fun. But, you know, you can call ahead. It's really easy. It's a little tip. Also, I don't want to skip over. They've been open for a while. I mean, we just had this pandemic and they still got lines outside every Sunday. Restaurants don't last that long. Don't they say it's one of the hardest things to do? Own and manage a restaurant? So what the fuck is this Chinese place sitting next to a ton of different Asian cuisine within a one mile radius doing being special? Well, they're consistent. They got good food. People talk about it. It's like a good movie you want to watch again. And they've been quite exceptional at changing and adapting with the times. And they got this dish called slippery shrimp. It's not the best dish of all time, but it's pretty yummy. 
So I wanted to go to film school. So my dad schleps us out to Los Angeles in 2016 to check out the supposed best film school in the country. And one night he says, we're gonna go get Chinese food at this place he'd been dying to try. So we Uber from Hollywood to Chinatown and end up in front of Yang Chow. And we're waiting outside for the table. And I'm in the little alley next to the place leading to the valet parking lot they got. And I snap a photo. I don't have a video of when we were inside, but I remember it was packed. Wow. You know, I didn't get into that film school out of high school, but I got in after another try and I didn't go back to Yang Chao till 2021. Not sure why. I think I just forgot that you could go and sit and dine at a place like that when everything was shut down here. But they opened once again. About a year ago, maybe it was a year and a half. I, I remember somebody, I can't remember who, asked me what my favorite part of LA was. This had to have been somewhere in the first half of 2021. I remember saying it was Chinatown and not knowing why. They asked me why and I may have answered that it's near downtown and close so it's easy. Maybe I said it's a good overall location or of course something about the food or architecture or rent prices which I knew nothing of them. My friend Jordan, about the only person I met that was new that became to me what would be equivalent to a best friend had lived in LA for two and a half years before my arrival in the middle of 2020. He had two years on me of finding wonderful restaurants and food around the city, and he was happy to share. He was also 27 years old, turning 28 soon around then, and one of those places he took me to was Amboy Quality Meats, this burger spot right around the corner from Yang Chow in one of the various outdoor malls that seems to have done good, but under the surface caused a lot of issues for Chinatown. And I remember thinking how pretty it was and how cool it would be to film it. You know, when I was 16, I went to a midnight showing of Chinatown for some reason with two of my friends. We were all so fucking bored we left right after he gets his nose sliced. Chinatown has come quite far. In Boston, we went out to eat at diners, coffee shops, Italian places in Little Italy, but my favorite place in Boston was by far Chinatown. I'm not sure why, but I think it had something to do with the many miles of walking my friend Albert and I would do when we got breakfast at our favorite diner and walk through the morning blocks of Chinatown, smoking cigarettes before and after the meal, passing men and women doing the same, completing their morning routine. But Jordan introduced Chinatown to me. Talk about the importance of finding the hole in the wall type of place that maybe isn't the best to others, but damn good to you. If you were to eat Yang Chow every day for a week, you'd start having breading form over your stomach. And I think I'd find myself getting sick of their tea. But who knows? Jordan is turning 30 in March. I turned 23 in February. My friend Dave comes from home to visit and we take him to Yang Chow and he tells me it tastes like the Chinese food at home in Detroit. My father takes me to Yang Chow in 2016 because he heard it was good and we were in LA. And here I am six years later, at the very least, taking my friends to the restaurant he took me to too. Jordan and I never went to Yang Chow. That'll be next on the list. Got to make sure to do it before it's 30th. So there's a lot left to do, but at least I can go get Chinese food on a Sunday, bring my girlfriend or friend visiting from home, split a dish with a new friend from the film school and dine with my Zadie and the other ghosts. Hope at least they can smell the goddamn place. Hope at least he can smell the food as we walk in, sit down, place napkins on lap, say hello to the waiter, and begin to talk about Look at yourself Ask your heart where it's heading Darling Look at 
Look at 